was single up until uh, 2020. <laughs> a bit of a track record of uh, tried and not necessarily failed relationships, but you know, dating, wanting to get married, and things just weren't working out. I'm not sure if I was stuck. Things just weren't going very well. I needed some help. I would have been 25 when I first knew of her. <laughs> Two weeks, it will be a year from our first conversation. I would have been 23. I had never had a boyfriend. I was single, working full time. I always wanted to get married and have a family. And I had been working on myself for a few years already, like personal development and things like that. But I still just felt like I had a lack of confidence in relationships. Not just with guys, but also with girls, like my coworkers and just people in general outside of my family. I just didn't feel very confident in those relationships or being able to build any. I didn't really have any guy friends. I mean, the way I grew up, I was kind of, I guess I never really had a big community around me. So I was just, you know, didn't really have guy friends. I desired to be able to have better relationships with everybody. It's never about just marriage relationships alone, but relationship skills mm -hmm. influence all aspects of our lives, is whether mm -hmm. it's family, friends, intimate, business, mm -hmm. relationship skills are used in all of our life. And the better our relationship skills are, guess what, the more confident and uh, successful we'll be in anything we do because obviously anything we do requires interaction with other people and we can only be as successful as our relationship skills. Uh, why did you decide to move forward with mentorship or any level of accountability in incorporating new habits into your life? Um, personal development and also just um, something that someone told me was that maybe this is something that God is bringing into your life for a reason so i decided to give it a try what about you edna at the time i was feeling so hopeless in those areas i just talked about the lack of confidence in relationships and realizing where i'm at that's when i heard about what i could do and accountability and help i could get and it was just kind of like i felt like i had to say yes and I felt like if I waited, I would probably change my mind. It was time for that. Mm -hmm. I did not know that about you, but how true it is, how we talk ourselves out of our own very own breakthrough. A lot of people uh, disdain or disregard emotional, what they call emotional decisions, mm -hmm. considering emotional decisions as risky or bad. In doing so, they stuff their emotions and they return to their logical mindset, but then they disregard their heart in the process and they stay where they are. Our, our goal is to lift the veil to where people can make an emotional decision. And in doing so, you tap into something that defies logic and you tap into the supernatural and the spiritual and you connect with your 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 soul your deep, the deepest set self of you that often gets pushed aside by the logical mind and so emotional decisions are are actually good we want to embrace them as that's our heart speaking what it really really wants and needs mm -hmm. so i just want to honor you guys in that for making an emotional decision while the window of opportunity opened up mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of you for coming to this so early on in your life. You know, a lot of people wait until they're in their 30s or 40s and then they're almost like, oh, no, what happened? Where did I miss the turn? Right. That was us. Yeah. And you guys took action. What, what, what precisely did you guys do to meet each other? We met in the community of other singles and we were all learning the same things and following instructions and doing the homework and we met through that, through doing that. Did you practice with each other? 
Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. Yeah. Now, the the things that you practiced with each other in your communication uh, exercises and and, and um, what you call instructions or homework action steps, did that deepen and enhance the connection to where it be- turned into something more solid than it was when you first saw each other? I would say so. <clears throat> uh, so the first time we talked was actually the day after my birthday. And with following the instructions, communicating, practicing communication skills with each other um, actually helped us get to a place where we got to know each other very well, talking about important things and, you know, our life dreams and goals and things like that, that, that got us to on a fast track to get to know each other really fast to where we started to see, you know, be interested and see there was similarities in the things that we want Mm -hmm. but that was very good for us um in helping us to discover each other and Mm -hmm. in the process also discover more of ourselves about how you knew that you were the right ones for each other it was almost scary how much we had in common one of the the biggest things was the things that we, we were passionate about and felt like was our calling our mission in life those things were very much lined up and it was actually so identical that like the first time she shared it with me it made me cry because it was oh. it was like so close to mine and we didn't know it at the time and then later I shared mine with her and it was just like wow You decided to see each other in person very quickly after that. So we first called uh, December 15th, 2022. Mm-hmm. Then I went to see her in person for the first time. It was three weeks of talking and becoming friends, building relationship. He asked if he could come see me. And then three weeks after that, he flew down. After you met in person, <clears throat> then what happened? I decided I want to ask her to be my girlfriend, so I did, and she said yes. <laughs> he flew down like Friday afternoon, and then Saturday morning was when he asked me to be his girlfriend. So you didn't have to meet in person for too long to know that okay, that's the person I want to be with, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. crazy. How many people can say that, huh? I flew to Michigan to meet him and his family. Did you get engaged then too? Yeah, it was that weekend. It was 23 days until we got engaged. From dating. Mm -hmm. I think that's a record. That's (laughs) fast. So when you know, you know, huh? Yeah. And and at that point, once you know, you know, why wait? I re- we recognize that you were able to make that decision so quickly because you knew what questions to ask. Your mission and your vision for life were in alignment and they matched. And once your mission and your vision matches, everything else in life will match as well. Your beliefs, your values and convictions and your goals and dreams, they're very much in alignment. You'll be pulling in the same direction. And once, the, once those things are established, the rest takes care of itself. You have the rest of your life to get to know each other. Right? From that point of decision, to plug into personal training and development to the point of saying I do. What was the biggest challenge and obstacle that either one of you had to overcome to move to the next step? It seems like we both had a pretty big struggle with confidence, uh, especially in relationships. Mm-hmm. And as I shared earlier, I had you know, two girlfriends before this and both of them didn't work out. And I think Quite frankly, I needed help. And something that I learned through the process is that relationships are a skill that you can learn. Growing in confidence in who I was and in my skills um, with people and especially with girls. I had a lot of confidence that had to be built as well. I also had, you know, a lot of fears that came along with that. Um, overthinking yeah overthinking things and I knew there was something there for me and 
I wanted to keep going. It was hard. It was challenging. I'd say it was all worth it. Right. You have to push yourself out of your comfort zone and you have to be teachable and you have to be willing to learn the things that you need to know, <clears throat> learn the things that you don't know um, in order to you know, build the skills and re relationship skills and get out there and make friends. Another obstacle that I think I had to overcome was kind of a fear of, of marrying the wrong one. But something one of my mentors told me was that the one you choose is the right one. And be willing to ask for help. Um, she has the courage within herself um, to grow and to push through and do hard things. She's capable of doing those things. She will experience better things because of that. It'll take her someplace where she won't get to otherwise. It's going to be worth it. And hopefully this will inspire other singles to get up, dust themselves off, keep going, and to not be afraid or hesitant to ask questions mm -hmm. and seek help if they need it. And not wait as long as I did until the age of 40 to, dis to discover that I don't know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. I need help. And I had to lay down a lot of my intelligence and humble myself. I had to lay down a lot of my pride and ego and recognize that I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I need help. And I am so proud of you guys for doing that in your lower and to mid 20s mm -hmm. and not waiting until you're in your 30s and 40s to discover that.